Hello everybody, Average Gamer here, and welcome to another episode of Franchise Hockey Manager 3 as the Bordeaux Boxers. So, uh, in the, well, the, so far, um, our season's gone pretty well. We're 13-1-1. One one. Um, doing really good. We still have all these different plans and, and all that stuff to kind of put forth over the season. For example, if you missed the last couple episodes, um, we're keeping our eye on this goalie right here, possibly for next year. Um, to be our number one goalie, and then basically signing some crappy goalies, um, or even using uh, what hit the wrong button here? Uh, maybe Nagy as, or sorry, Yon here as our backup for the next couple of years. Uh, basically a crappy backup, but keeping him there nonetheless. So that way, hopefully, fingers crossed we can uh, kind of get things done a little bit. Uh, one of the things I want to do too as well is look at possibly re-signing a couple of these guys as the season progresses. Um, a lot of our guys are doing really, really good. The fact that we're winning so much, I really don't want to break things up too much. Um, I'm going to let the odd guy kind of go here and there, but overall, we're going to keep with the majority of these guys. Like, There's a couple of guys here. Anyone that's three stars or less, we're going to let them go. Everyone else is going to get re-signed. And we're just going to go for prospects. Try to restock the shelves. Pay everyone the money they want if we if if we win. Um, basically, just try to make things better. Slowly better and slowly integrate. We just need to make a playoffs is, is the main thing. We got to make we got to make the playoffs this year. If we make the playoffs and get out of the first or second round, we're laughing. But nonetheless, we're going to start the uh, second third of the season. Go to the next game here. This is going to be game 16 to 30. Uh, your streak ends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Lions could care less about you. Skating reports. Yeah, got some good players there. And Charlotte has completely recovered. Charlotte is going to be put back in now. Charlotte is our left winger. We have a left winger that's probably really young. Yep, you're going to the under-16 team. And you be dressed. Uh, Janil, I'm going to keep him until the last minute. I'm hoping between now and the next game, which is four days, he might become day the actual day-to-day -day option. If not, we'll scratch him day of. That's usually the worst case scenario. Um, just trying to think of what else here. Yeah, if he doesn't become day to day, the oh, here we go. Uh, yeah, yeah, mental note: this le this team here is willing to sell players. Do you have any? Wow, that's a lot of fins. Okay, Métis League. That's this one. Well, we actually know get pretty good. You guys have any French players? I don't think so. Hmm. Too bad French Canadian players don't count. Um, French Division One. Okay, that team apparently has only has one player. You really don't have many. The Lisa Mare Bisons. Uh, not many good guys there either. 
This is the league we came from. Nate. Millhouse. Look at this just wipes out completely. Oh, you have no official players. You only have four players. Oh yeah, we're just gonna go home. Screw that. Uh so yeah, so we have to worry about these guys. Just gotta transfer in. Not a not a fan of that. I don't like it when other teams transfer in players. And get better. Not a fan of it. Uh significant downside of risk. Okay. Uh what is it? This is this is the under sixteen, right? And this is the French under eighteen, okay. Players potentially volatile. Okay. It's still the vital unknown guy. And the kind of trade agreement between oh okay, they got uh Stormer Dragons. Really? You picked up someone from the Get League as well. So it looks like teams are building themselves around us. Uh, meaning that they're built their stuff. That's that's two defensemen that have been uh, brought in from other leagues. We're gonna scratch you and call up this uh, Dylan Thomas again. Dylan Thomas on the bright side, getting a lot of uh, <laughs> getting a lot of experience in this. And five one, and that'd be the first game. So we've been going for seven minutes, and we played our first game for this episode. <laughs> so yeah, episodes are going to be about forty forty five minutes ish from the looks of it. Uh, no big deal there. Oh, come on. You just got brought up, buddy. How? How does that... Like, is there, like, carbon monoxide in our bloody... Like, arena or something? One of these days, I'm going to go into the injury file and just, like, change the settings all together for myself here. Like, yeah, all the injuries for player for the player's team are zero. <laughs> so still only two points up on the, uh, the dragons there. Not, uh, not too happy about that, but what can you do? We played them once and we lost to them. Hoping the next time we play them, we'll beat them. Oh, uh, hockey sir glass means ice hockey, by the way. Oh, wow. That's a lot of people getting better there. Yeah, guys are even getting better on our team. That's pretty good. And then guys that are getting worse. Uh, Splendid Month for a right winger, Blatchard, who, on EPI, whatever team that is. Uh, Adam Negi earned both players' leagues. Oh, wow. So, the Dolphins, Blanchard, but then Negi earned, um, more than one, more than one, more than one award this month. So, minus for a new team, but plus for a contract. You're not on a new team, though. You've been with me this entire time. Four days and two days. Oh, boy. I tell you. You're either on a really good team or a really crappy team. On the bright side, the Sparta Strapsburg Warrior team we had slowly built up to a good one. This one... We ripped apart the team right from the beginning, kind of rebuilt it in the style we wanted it, and it's good to go from the moment we've started, so we're going to get 
our owners or our uh, was it the board uh i don't really think so. uh the season is a great successful start and the team's in outstanding shape uh performance in the last few months confirms this impression uh week sorry your record this month is 8-0-1 or 8-1-0 so it's the exact same record as it was the month before uh, no, the one before was 8 0 oh, 1. And this one was 8 1 0. Oh. Uh, for long term profession, he's very happy with uh, how the boxes are going. Good. How long is my contract? I go till 2020. Okay. And you two are still injured, possibly one day in three days. Our next game is until the 8th. So possibly we'll have. Uh, some space. So yeah, so we're doing 15 episodes of the first day, 15 episodes of the second day, and then 14 episodes of the third day. More uh, stuff there. Hmm. See, international players, Japanese, okay. Asian hockey there, yeah. Good to know. We we still we've only played one game and we've gone eleven minutes. <laughs> Some more scouting. So I'll see if anyone kind of sticks out a little bit. Wow, we've we 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 went one day. It's not gonna believe we've only played one game in twelve minutes. Uh, both of them are ready for full contact. Possibly both our guys might be good to go by the time uh, by the time the next game comes around. Probably ready to start play again. Oh, damn it. Oh, crap. Now, mind you, just because they do this does not mean the, the the player got the team. Not they even signed him. That's why he's saying LM. Ah, boo. We only signed a one-year contract with them, though, for $76,000. So. A lot of these teams are, are stacking up on goalies and defensemen because of how good we're doing. Because we're, we're basically taking so many shots on these teams. 50, 60 shots a game. A lot of these teams are doing, like, it's pretty much like knee-jerk reactions. We're just going to stay as per normal. Kind of slowly just build up on success. Kind of do, you know, kind of thing where we keep our core in place and just kind of go from there. No email. So here we go. We're going to play against the Dolphins. We're uh, 1 and. <coughs> Sorry about that. We're 1 and 0 oh against the Dolphins. The Dragons are still only two points behind us. And there we go. 3 and 1. Next game is not till the 11th, so three more days. And the Dragons... Right here. They lost! Yes! They lost against the Ducks! Play radius are playing again. Well, not until you're 100%. So we just got... Yeah, we're five points between us and the Dragons now. Oh, yeah. We're almost two victory apart. Once we're six points, I will feel way better, and I won't be as nervous as I am. Uh, very close to being recovered. Transfer deadline's the 15th. Uh, do we want to do anything? You know what? I'm not going to do any, tra uh, any transfers. I think I'm going to stick with this team for now. See how the season turns out, and then we're going to go from there. Uh, yeah, there was one more trip. The amount of transfers from, really, you transferred a Japanese player. Japanese defenseman. Uh, 
Thomas is almost good to go, and Yenil is 100% good to go. Uh, injury. Oh, you're not even on the injury list. Uh, you're good to go, so... Thomas is just going to get sent down. To the under-16. It's like, well, I don't even know why I had him up here. <laughs> so we're going to play against the Gap. We've already played against the Gap, and we beat them 8 nothing. Here is our second game. And we beat them 6-2. to two. Strategy. Let's create those lines again just to make sure all the lines are good to go. Right, we're going to continue on. And we beat them 6-2. to two. So the first game was 8 nothing. Now it's 6-2. to two. Teams are going to be getting a lot better defensively or prioritizing defense now. Uh, the Dragons, I didn't see whether they won or lost their game there. Kind of hoping the Dragons go on a bit of a slump, like a two, three game lose streak. If they go on a, like a two or three game lose streak, we're just going to pull away and, and just run. I'm hoping that we can get at least a good, good point uh, mix between the two. Player level, top, can't be sure. Okay. Yeah, we're five. Oh, they they lost. Did they lose? No, they lost two here. Oh, they lost two here back to back, and then they lost here. Good to know. Uh, we're actually playing Rouen right here, so this will be a big game. So we're gonna play Nice next. Nice next. Nice Nice. Uh, transfer deadline uh, was today, and Rouen. Oof. Transferred in a centerman to Gap. Okay. Where's the... They basically transferred a player. Okay, good to know. Alright, so we need to play Nice, beat Nice, and then we need to uh, beat the next team. And there we go, 4-1. Oh, for God's sakes. Uh, Janil will be out for two weeks, roughly. Okay, you're going to the injury list, depth-wise. Um, is it Thomas? Yeah, I think it was... You know, I'm going to bring up K Kozarski here. Give him a little bit of a... Wait, I can do that, right? No, that'll give me too many. Inter Actually, let's see. Press. No, yeah. Uh, how are you? You're 18. Can I send you back to the under 18? Yep. So it needs to be a French player that I call up. Oh, damn it. I'm going to give uh, Pridget. No. So, yeah, I'm going to call it Pridget. And Pridget is a left defenseman, which is perfect. Now, mind you, he's a two, he's a one and a half star player, though. That's not the best. And we're playing him against the Dragons now. So this game right here is going to be a doozy. Uh, and the Dragons won their game against the Dolphins. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, man. So there they agreed to the terms. Yeah, a lot of defensemen seem to be. Really, you got a goalie from Lerskog. Interesting. Yeah, a lot of defensemen. And we're going to stay the course. So we're 17 1 and 1, and the Rune Line Dragons are 16 and 3. This will bring them up to, yet again, t within two. So we need to beat the Dragons in this game. We need to beat the Dragons. Last game, we lost 7-2. to two. Wait, didn't I just hit continue? Oh, we haven't played them yet. Okay. <laughs> wow. That, that, that totally just kind of threw me for a bit of a, a thing there. Uh, ready to resume skating. Okay.
Boom. Four to one. That's how you do it. Uh, we outshot them 30 to 26. No. Yeah, sorry. They outshot us 30 to 26. We got way more penalties than they did. They would hit us. Uh, we ended up getting, they got more takeaways. We got more face-offs, though. So, boom. We're one in one with the Dragons. We get almost a 10-point difference between the two of us. And we are, we're, 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 we're slowly but surely moving away. Um, the Dragons and us, I am just, I am happy about that. That that win right there has made this episode just that much better. Because we've 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 increased that gap, I feel more comfortable. Um, if we wanted to do that transfer and buy out of that goalie, now would be the time to do it. Um, but uh, we'll have to see. On the bright side, we have the second top score, sixth top score, and ninth top score in points, and we also have the number five goalie. Um. Quillen Pilipinol in the hair is the number one goalie in the league right now. He's on the Dragons. Go figure, eh? But he's also the not the number one goalie on the team. Interesting. He's all the way down. Wait, how is that goalie the number one goalie in the league? Oh, they moved him to this under-20 team. Interesting. So he's not even there. Wow. Okay. They've got, I think, a, uh, an embarrassment of riches in net. They do. They got four goalies in net. No. Actually, they only got one good goalie, and that's it. We've got these two, plus these two. Neither of them are really that good either. If I can get one good goalie, that that Nor that Norwegian goalie, that will make things so amazing. Sign him. Immediately flip a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, he's a priority when it comes to free agency, but at the same time, um. Extensions are going to be are going to be a major thing, with all these guys being free agents right now. That does concern me a little bit. Um, I mean, I want to re-sign Nagy, but if I can get that other goalie, so I might leave Nagy here for a little bit, tra try to tra transfer in the other goalie and sign him to a, like a two or three year contract. We're playing against Stratzburg. 13. <laughs> 13 to 1. 69 shots. Gilbert and Berto Kinko had really good games. Wow. Yeah, so any guys that, like, Berto Kinko, Gilbert, Mosin, and Delarus, if they're all on one year contracts, they're all getting re signed. And I think they all are, so. So left winger, a centerman, and a right defense, and a right winger. Oh, and then Del Rosa is on there too. Wow, one, two, three, four. Five of the top ten guys are ours. Wow. Wow. Okay. Um honestly, if I could, I'd just re-sign everybody. Take every <laughs> Can you imagine a GM taking everyone into the office or bringing everyone together in like a meeting and saying, okay, guys, here's the deal. Talk amongst yourselves about who owes, who, who deserves what. Here's the amount of money I'm willing to pay for all of you guys. Just up to you guys yourselves who gets how much money. But I want to keep everybody in this room. Like, we'll all sit back and be like, okay, we'll break it down percentage-wise. Who gets how much money? And then I'll talk to each of you separately as to terms when it comes to length. But let's break down the, the dollar value now. Wow. All right, we're playing against Lyon. We've already played them and beat them once. Uh, 
and we beat them 4-1. And who's hurt? Oh, just he extended his point streak. Perfect. Let's go to the next game. So, yeah, so the whole point is to get one season per up, per per week is an idea. So we do the preseason. I'm oh, sorry, the off season on the Monday, preseason on the Tuesday, then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday are the regular season, and then Saturday live stream for the weekends. Uh, good games getting more scouting reports. Uh, is everyone else done? Yeah, they are. Okay. I'm gonna sign you a job again. Um, I want you to do under 17. Report every week for 10 weeks. Oh, I'm actually out of the short list. Uh, you. I want you to keep looking at the French under 18 for me. You. Um. For Central Europe. I mean, with all the. Let's go under 18 overall. Why not? 10 weeks. Or every week. Under 17, under 18, French under 18. Why don't you do the French under 16? You. I did the Swiss League, did I not? So let's look for some under 16 check your, uh, checks. You, I'm going to say go to Russia. Russia under 16. And you are our best guy in total. Um, Hmm. I think the Quebec Junior Hockey League is uh, 16 year olds. major junior hit that um i'm pretty sure for the tails cup that there's more than six teams i i i the tails cup wrong thing um just the the got no olympics um Go to the, the okay, let's go Halifax Mooseheads. Hit their home button. Atlantic Canada Junior B, that's what it is. Why is an Atlantic Canada Junior B? Maybe is it just Junior B? Yep. Yeah, so everyone will be reporting back to us. We put Ami in. Tomorrow, we'll go 30 minutes. We're at what, uh, what, uh, game 22. So we still have eight more games to get through. So we're playing against the Gothics, aka the Devilish Door to Door Salesman. 
We win five to two. Hot run, hot run. Perfect, perfect. Uh, strategy. Great lines. Uh, in the meantime, two more days and you should be good to go. But uh, we don't play till the second. So we got a couple days off at least. And the Dragons, damn it, they won their game too. Every day, every day. It's like they're just, just there. They're like, they like we're, we're, we can like one of us is gonna screw up and go on like a two or three game losing streak, and the other one's just gonna get up above them by one or two points, and it's gonna stay like that all season. They're winning almost every single game. We're winning almost every single game, and it's just a constant thing going on here. Uh, full contact, some more good to go -ness. You're 40, so yeah, you won't. Lost some professionalism, good to know. Uh, Hockey News Network has announced the, uh, the most recent Sexer Bubble Players of the Month award winner. This month's recipient is Lubis Barco of the Bordeaux, Bordeaux, the Bordeaux Bosses. Boom! Adam Nagy of the Bordeaux Bosses captured the Goalie of the Month award. Nice. So we have both the best goalie and one of the best players of the month. Good to go. They're going to play against Grenoble. Or Grenoble. Or Grenoble. Or Grenoble. And the Dragons are here. Come on. Tell me if they win or lose. Oh, I didn't get to say. Uh, we were 7 and 0 this month. Uh, ready to start playing again. Good to go. Oh. We're eight points ahead. So we're almost, almost three games. Played the same amount of games too, which is really good. So we're playing against Grenoble. We've played them once and lost to them in overtime. So these are the guys we lost to in overtime. And they beat us straight up this time. They handed us our second regular season loss this in this uh, this game. The Dragons are probably going to win and cut down the uh, the difference a little bit more. Yeah, the Dragons won. Uh, Jim could be ousted, and uh, his confidence is turned on. What around? Uh, he made it to work quickly. Rumor is a 46-year-old job with the general manager is in jeopardy. Continue his hot run. Inform me of the following players of some difficult. Yeah. Very close to recovering. So, Shormont Morzei. So, the last place team, basically. So, on game, tw uh, basically, when they're almost halfway through the season, is when the AI goes, okay, um, you're, something's wrong with you. So now we're only five points ahead of the Dragons. Boo. I mean, we're get. I mean, I, I like the, the buffer that we have. Because <laughs> one loss there, and to see what happens, like, we're so close with these three-point games. If we went on, say, like a seven or eight game losing streak, it'd still catch up. Uh, Declare, he has completely recovered. Um, injury list. You come back to me, please. And you go back down to our under 16 team. Thank you. And you get dressed, sir. And our next game is on the ninth, so in five days. So between now and five days from now, we could get an injury during, the, during a, you know, during a practice for all I know. So a little nervous still, just a little nervous. Scouting reports. Eastern U.S. Junior B. Okay. Mental note, I'm going to change this to Junior C.
There's generic under 18. Generic under 17, okay. Uh, you're nine weeks in. Uh, junior B. Sign job. Nine weeks. Um, actually, can we change you to junior C, please? Thank you. Just because the guys in junior B, I realize, are a little too old. They're 19, 20, 18, 19, 20. We're looking for guys that are 16. Because what I hope to do is snipe those players away from the uh, OHL, CA, the, basically from the CHL, the OHL, the Q, and the W. Because the Q, the O, and the W here in Canada are like the premier leagues just below professional, the AHL and the NHL. And they're broken up into the Ontario Hockey League, the Western Hockey League, which is pretty much all the, like from Manitoba West, and then the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League or the QMJHL. Uh, when, uh, ninth. Perfect. Epinol. Wow, they beat us too. They beat us 7-2. to two. Good for him thinking that he's good to go at right defense. Um, which one of these guys am I using on left defense? Janil Jenkins and Cote. All right, and it looks like after this that the Dragons win tonight, they're going to catch up, and they're going to get really close. And the Dragons won 4 1 in their game. And boom, they're now two points behind us. So if we were to lose against the Eagles and the Dragons. Uh, the Dragons beat the Loops there, we are in some trouble. The Eagles. Our second last. So, I mean, that's no big deal. But, I mean, we lost against the Dolphins. So, here we go. Nice tomorrow night. So, we're 21 3 and 1. Who would have thought our biggest problem would be are we going to stay in first place? Who would have figured after losing one game it would be that bad? Uh, so staying Budapest. Does France play in any of these games? Shit. They do right there. Uh, did we lose any players? We didn't. <laughs> did the Dragons. No, they didn't either. Damn it. Hey, we, won. we beat the Eagles, which is good. Four more games and we're done for this episode. Well, we're at 40 minutes. The... I didn't see if the other guys won or not. Okay, I'm not too worried about that. No, yeah, the Dragons won their game. Ooh. Uh, we're playing against the last place team in our next game. So like this, getting a season done every week kind of feels, it feels natural, feels good. Uh, here is our stat. Oh, there we go, 15 and 16-year-olds. Let's rush under 16. Uh, check under 16. France under 18. Uh, under Generic under 17. Generic French under 16. Under 18. Where is our junior B stuff? Yeah, you're doing it every week. I don't know why you're not, why you didn't report. 
Unless she reports tomorrow. If he reports tomorrow, then I know the... If we get a report on... Yeah, there he is. Okay. 15 to 17-year-olds. This is perfect. 20 as well. Okay, well. So these are good... Oh, wow. Okay, these are good players. So basically, we can hopefully snipe one of these kind of Austin Matthews-esque players to kind of be like, hey, do you want to come over here and play against men? You you may be one of the best players in the world, but is this way, you know. Oh uh, yeah, I'm not too worried about you guys. Um our next game is until the sixth twenty third, like. I like how you can turn off notifications from every other league except the, the World Cup, World Juniors and, and all that stuff. kind of unfair a little bit we got another email okay i think we're gonna go on my the 20th if it's not important it should just keep going god damn it uh look at a good game austria blah 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 scouting reports Good to know. Good to know. Good to know and good to know. Right now on our shortlist, bunk. So we want, once again, what we're looking for, first and foremost, is a good centerman with high potential, and the closest person is French is right here. So I would prioritize a French player only because it cuts back on our international players that we can use to sign as one-time contracts. Uh, oh, actually, Bernier right here. Boom. He's 16. So we can sign him next year, no problem. He's under contract for the moment. Um, the next French player is right here. I mean, we're obviously going to prioritize Bernier here. We're going to sign him and throw it, throw him into the into our under, you know, under sixteen team. Uh, as for right wingers, oh, that kind of works out too. Uh, right wingers, uh, Ellen right here, boom. He's going to be another prior uh, priority player. Uh, him and maybe Goliant here. Uh, left wingers. It's going to look like, yeah, right down here we have a C-class player. So we don't know how good he is. We'll find out as time goes on. Maybe this guy here. And maybe Thomas. Uh, that's a good right D. We'll Rue here. Uh, good left D. Beller, though we don't have that much good information on the on the guy yet. And, and goal, no French goalies yet. So uh, we're definitely gonna go for Deb. Try to sign him if we can as a free agent, and then uh, unless he re-signs up. Then we're going to be kind of hurting a little bit. But then we're also going to try and get someone like uh, Silstrom here. Because if he's only a one and a half star goalie now, if we leave him between the ages of 17 to 20, that's three years. So if we sign Dedham to a three-year contract, in three years' time we can look at the Silstrom here and go, does Silstrom replace Dedham? And we can kind of play, play on that. Yeah, the international players are going to be used to basically plug holes where where we can plug them but prioritize french uh 16 year olds to long-term contracts if we can get good french players then we then we can basically go and try to sign free agent 
non-French players. With that 13-player cap limit, we can also sign, obviously, some non-French 16, 17, 18-year-olds. Because worst-case scenario, if you find later on that we have too many of them coming of age, some teams are going to want to transfer them in. Some people are going to ask, basically, to buy some of these kids as well. So if we can sell them off later on into uh, endangered servitude to other teams, we'll do it. Uh, this is game 26. Twelve to three. Uh, all about great games and great performances. So we're at seventy points. We're twenty-three, three and one, and people are extending point streaks. Good for them. How are we? Yeah, we're still only two points ahead of the dragons. I tell you. If I can, one of the things I'd want to do on the off season is try to buy their goalie from them. <laughs> Unless he's a free agent. But I mean, if I can get a goalie from somewhere else instead, because my my main worry would be supplying them with something good, and that's the World Juniors. All right, we're playing the Dragons again. Now this is going to be a big game. If we beat the dragons, we go up on we go up by five. If we lose to the dragons, they go up by one. We actually drop down a second. That's gonna be this is gonna be a big deal, big deal. Okay. So we're one and one with these guys. If we win this so far, we're we're winning the uh the, we'll say the series for the season. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of nervous, to be honest with you. Um, this is a big, big game. We have to win this game if we want to stay fighting for first period, for first place. And we lost one nothing. Mm. Boo. So, the dragons jump above us by one point. I tell you. The dragons are the team that we're having the most problem with. I mean, if we can get... Like... They've got our number somehow. I don't know what it is. I honestly don't know what it is. Like, neither of us are going to be this good next year, probably. I wonder the next time we play against them. Rue, we play against them on the 27th. But we only have two games left in this episode, so. So, at this current point, I'm going to say we're pretty much going to make the playoffs. Um, whether we're, I, I'm going to assume since it's the top eight that make the playoffs, we're probably not going to drop as far as fourth. Um, I can't see us losing 20 points by the end of the season. Though you never know. We have the top three goal scorers. Uh, so out of the top ten, we've got one, two, three. Good to know. Play against Dijon. And we beat them 6-3. And one more game and then we're done for this episode. The Dragons win their game, 7-4. I'll tell you, we, <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's just, I would, if I had the money, I would throw a ton of money at any of the French players on the Dragons right now, just so I can sign them and then buy the guy out. Uh, oh, annual paper, uh, newspaper poll published today for surprising results. Here are the winners of each best skater. Uh, Matthew Brisewell of the Amends, whatever. A hardest shot, Cody Matthew of uh, the Dolphins. Smartest, Scott Fleming of the Lions. Toughest, Jasper Sans Susan Susinge of the Dolphins. Um, the fastest player is Matthew Brisewell of the. No way. Uh. 
Og skis faktisk også skis, ja. I could have swore this guy played for the NHL. Maybe a different Matthew Breeze. Uh, best role model. Uh, maximum whatever of our team. Cleanest. Their goalie. God damn it. Right. This goalie is what's winning it for them right now. And then the coach was the, the loops. Uh, their goalie, is he French? No, he's Canadian. But he has one year left. I'm hoping that they lapse and don't re-sign this kid. Because if we can either sign him or, or, ah, oh, damn it, or sign this guy, we are going to be laughing. Thing is, he's 29. He's 36. So, I definitely am teetering on the Danish goalie more than anything. And I'm willing to give him anything he wants. One year contract, fine. Two years, fine. Three, four. Uh, four would be good because then we can also sign other players on the back end. And some of the players we use too, we signed, we're, we're just we're signing them as. Uh, Kind of filler, but <laughs> we're doing really good. Uh, a lot of these older guys are not doing too good. Uh, top players of the month are given to the Bordeaux Boxers, E2 Kunski, uh, today and whatever center of the only the month. I love how it's just like that, that, that doesn't work sometimes. Come on, let's get to the next game so I can exit the, end this season, this episode so I can take a break. We've been going for almost an hour. <laughs> Can't believe we lost to the Dragons. Like I think we lost two games this two games this month or three. I think we were six and three this month. That's sweet number twenty. We were three and two. He was happy with three and two. Good to know. Uh, our next game is left until the 6th. We still have four more days to kill. I tell you. I am happy with the way the team's turned out. I am happy with pretty much everything so far. Um, there's not much I'm actually unhappy with. Um, I like the way the team feels. I like the way the team looks. Um, the fact that we've only lost four regular regular season games in regular time is pretty good actually oh come on <laughs> the only thing is this takes forever I'm trying to sim and kill time between matches I think the Leafs played tonight too actually did the Leafs win tonight or play tonight uh, TSN. Going on my phone on the TSN app to see if my team played. And they did. And they got their butts kicked. Is it right for Hosang to wear number 66? Why is he wearing number 66? Uh... Interesting, there's no Hawks recall glass from miners. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here about what's his face wearing number sixty six. Number um, takes jab at least for using age as an excuse. Interesting. I have a lot of stuff saying about uh Jose wearing Number 66. And here we go. Last game of the episode. And we won 7-2. Here we go. Okay, so in the next episode, we're going to play the last 14 games of the season. Um, if I do my math real quick, 14 times 3. That could get us an additional 42 points. 
So theoretically, anyone who's 42 points below us will be a minus 76. Anyone who has 34 points or less. So pretty much. Oh, crap. Yeah. Uh, the worst we can go to is eighth. By the end of the season. So even if the Gothics won the one game that they're that they're haven't played yet, we'll assume say they won their game and are at thirty three points. They're out of playoffs as of this moment. Um, they could still make the playoffs, but we're good. We have solidified a playoff spot. Um, as of this moment, anyone can. Uh, there's a thirty four point difference. Anyone from thirty four points, we're good. So. Worst case scenario, we're be, we're making the playoffs, but we're making it in eighth place. I'm calling it now. Uh, we've made it. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.